When I ventured out to the apiary today, I was surprised to find these bee mummies accumulating on the landing board of one of the nucleus colonies. They were also on the ground in front of the colony. Literally hundreds of them. The weather here has been rainy and cold, which leads me to believe the mummies are a result of chalk brood, a common occurrence in early spring. Chalk brood disease is caused by a fungal pathogen, Ascosphaera apis. It affects larvae that have consumed the spores. Infected larvae starve as the fungus grows within them and competes with the larva for food. Dead larvae swell to fill their cells and are quickly overgrown with fluffy fungal mycelia. The fungus produces spores, giving the dead larvae a characteristic chalky look. These larvae, called mummies, may be found in capped or open cells or on the bottom board, but they are usually first noticed on the landing board after they have been removed by house cleaning bees. Mummies may appear white, gray, green, black, or a mixture of colors as multiple other fungi tend to quickly grow on dead brood. This disease should not be confused with common molds, uh, such as the ones that grow on pollen when the hive has been uh, undisturbed during the winter. Unfortunately, there is no medication to treat for chalk brood. It is most common in the early spring and disappears when weather becomes warmer and drier, and as the queen increases spring brood production. Hygienic bees remove infected mummies, although this action may result in spreading spores throughout the brood area. A strong colony with abundant workers will be able to keep the brood nest cleaner. Also, a well-ventilated hive elevated above the ground and free from excess moisture can help prevent fungal growth. If this condition persists or reoccurs each year, beekeepers should thoroughly scrape and clean woodenware, replace old brood combs with new foundation, and sterilize hive tools. I took a close look at the queen. She is one of last year's queens, but she is still laying a decent brood pattern, so I will keep her. Here you can see the queen with her yellow marking. I kept the green frame out because the bees had drawn a super seedra cell on it. I will move the frame with cell to a mating nucleus. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps if you experience this condition in your own apiary. Give us a thumbs up and please subscribe if you found this video helpful.